What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, True That Boxing, coming at you. Quick update, man. Uh, this Saturday, we have Canelo Alvarez and um, the Bone Crusher. Um, I keep talking about this, man. It's a big fight Saturday. Um, I'm going to start with Canelo. Canelo's moving up two weight classes. And um, you guys seen this. Fighters that move up weight classes... Then they drop back down in weight. They end up losing. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Roy Jones got knocked out like that by Antonio Tarver. It just doesn't work. Shane Mosley got beat up like that, going up and down, up and down. You can't keep going up and down in weight. So I say all that to say this. Canelo's moving up two weight classes to fight Kovalev. And if he moves up to 175, if he can beat Sergey Kovalev, he needs to stay at 175 because he go all the way up and try to go back down it's going to drain him and um, it, I believe that could damage his career and Canelo will be on the downfall um, why did he take the fight with Sergey he took the fight with Sergey um, bone crusher because that's all he is now is Sergey Kovalov he is no longer the bone crusher um, the bone crusher been gone many years now um so, so he's not fighting the crusher anymore. He's just fighting Sergey Kovalev. Um, uh, Canelo, he did um, move up to 168, and he fought Rocky Feldon. Um, shit, he blew him away real quick with a couple of body shots. But Kovalev is no um, Rocky Feldon, um, and he is bigger than Rocky Feldon, and he still has a nice jab. He still have a little power. And his punches, Kovalev, that I'm speaking about. Um, Canelo is favored to win. I do see Canelo winning the fight. Um, as far as Canelo getting in there and attacking that body, man, um, he got to get past that jab again of, of, of Sergey. But once again, um, Sergey is not the bone crusher. He's not the crusher no more. So, it is possible that he could get past that jab and, and rock um, Sergey's body. Because he can't take shots to the body and Canelo is a body snatcher. He's a vicious to the body. But once again, on Canelo again, he did move up to 168. He moved up to the middleweights. The only person he knocked out was Marshmallow Rocky Feldon. He was garbage. I don't even know why he had the name of Rocky. Um, but who has Canelo knocked out lately? Um, the fights with Triple G, he, he couldn't knock out Triple G. He fought Danny Jacobs. He couldn't knock out Danny Jacobs. I mean, Amir Khan, everybody know he has a, um, glass jaw. So, he expected to get knocked out. Um, but he's not, you know, at no 160, 168. When Canelo moved up to 160, 168, he wasn't knocking nobody out. He's not knocking nobody out. So, I don't see him knocking out, um, Sergey at all. And, uh, like Buddy McGirt said, um, he has plans for, uh, Canelo if Canelo does try to go to the body. Um, it's going to make Canelo think about coming in and trying to strike that body. Um, hopefully that Canelo doesn't, Buddy McGirt doesn't have, um, Sergey trying to rock Canelo's body with body shots because, Canelo, I mean, Kovalev is not a body shotter. He he likes to bring it to you and 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 uh, box you. He's a power boxer. He's not a body shotter. So if he tries to um, do body shots with 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 Canelo, shit, Sergey is gonna get knocked out because uh, he is not a body shotter and it's too late in the game to be trying to teach. Um, Sergey how to throw body shots. It's just too late in the game for that because that's not the type of fighter he is. Um, that's all I have for now. Um, like I said, Saturday's the fight. Friday's gonna be the weigh-in. I'm gonna have pictures. I'm gonna, um, use my reliable source and see what the trainers have to say about all this upcoming fights and what's their predictions. My prediction is, uh, Canelo by decision. I just don't see... Sergey pulling it off. He can pull it off because he's the champion, but he is not the crusher no more. He's just Sergey. He's he's older. He's he, he's he doesn't have much left in his tank. And when he fought Yarday, 
This was one of the quotes from um, um, Sergey. He said, if I get stopped by Yarde, who Yarde almost beat him by a couple of punches, a couple of punches away from getting knocked out. Okay? Um, Yarde almost knocked Kovalev out. You know, one or two more punches, Kovalev would have been out of there, but he weathered the storm, and he survived, and he got um, Yarde out of there. But he also said, if Yarde stops him, I will retire. So, for Kovalev to say he will retire, he knows he doesn't have much left in his tank. He was a couple of punches from getting retired by Yarde. So, I don't know. We'll see you guys um, Saturday. What's, what's happening? Um, don't forget to bang that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And don't forget to share this. But that's all I have for you guys for now. And I'm on to the next one. And uh, I'll see you guys Saturday at the fights. And I'll do another update on Friday with the pictures and my reliable sources for the trainers and the um, prediction on their updates and what are their key elements to victory of the fight. Peace out. No boxing, no life. Peace.